hi everyone this is intuitive edge welcome once again to my channel it's time to take a look at our week ahead so let's see what the cards have in store for this week september 20th okay so i've laid out the cards and um let's get into this politically is the first card out we have the moon now the moon represents things that are mysterious the veil things that are hidden it kind of brings a little bit of a somber feeling to it. Also mystery and intrigue with that somber feeling. It's kind of a things that are kind of behind the scenes a little bit. Now the next card out is what's going to be happening with society. How is society going to be feeling and progressing this week? We've got the emperor on that. So two major arcana coming right out with the moon on the political and the emperor, which is strength, power, and authority, but this is on society and the people. So a, a stark contrast between the political and what's happening with society in general. And so with the strength of will with that emperor, we have fortitude, power, protection, and authority. Very interesting contrast there. Now, the next is the lesson or the challenge that we have this week. Now, interesting on this, we have kind of a nice card on this. It's the Three of Cups. This card represents gatherings, people, friendships. And with this being the challenge, there could be challenges around gatherings or friendships or meeting together. This card represents harmony celebration. So there could be a lesson involved with that or an obstacle, but that could be the challenge that people are facing. Maybe it's just people wanting to get out and gather, and we've had lots of challenges with lockdowns and that kind of thing, but there could be some added challenges with that coming up this week. Now, this next card is kind of interesting to me, and the question is, what is being brought to light. Now, uh, this is quite interesting because we have the tower card. Wow. So if the tower is being brought to light, so there is some type of calamity, destruction, something coming apart at the seams. That's the focus on what's being brought to light. So something is falling apart. And perhaps it's a narrative, perhaps who knows, but something's coming out and it's falling apart and that's what's being brought out into the open and brought into the light. So we're going to be seeing something fall apart, blow up, um, hopefully not literally, but something's going to come apart at the seams this week. Um, and it's interesting because it's right underneath directly in the center of this spread, right underneath the political and right underneath the society. And if I was to venture a guess, it would seem as though society is seeing the tower energy feeding into it and it's getting empowered. Whereas the political side is looking at this tower and they're feeling more somber. Okay. That's just an aside of kind of the energies playing out between the cards here. The next one is what will surprise us this week? Now I've got an interesting card. This is the Six of Swords. This is a card of change, but having to kind of move on. This is a card of letting go. And that's on what will surprise us. So perhaps there is something that is going to cause a change or a shift or a needing to let go. Somehow that's going to be a surprise. We'll have to see what that is. Okay. Now, that was number five. Um, number six. What is the help that gives us hope this week? And I've got the two. Two of Wands. This is a nice card, kind of a visionary card, looking to the future. So there's some hope in looking ahead. So perhaps if things are falling apart and things look a little uncertain, 
the hope is that it's actually maybe leading us into a better future as we let go of what doesn't serve us anymore, what no longer serves, letting that go and knowing that there's something better coming in the future. This is what gives us hope. And I wrote down with this foresight, future endeavors, boldness, personal power and vision. This gives us hope for the future, okay? Now, what do we need to know this week? Well, another interesting card, a card of celebration. So perhaps things aren't as bleak or as bad as they may seem, even if something falls apart. There is room for celebration. There is actually hope and joy that is in the offing if we can get past what we're seeing falling apart, knowing that something better is coming out of it. Last card, number eight, is the outcome for this week. Now I've got this card of hard work and diligence. Interesting on the outcome. So to me, this feels very positive for the week overall even though we have that tower card. Because this card is about improvement and having a purpose and diligence, having a good outcome on the outcome position. Underneath this spread, we have this card, getting the upper hand. So, this looks to be gearing up to be an interesting week with some probably some twists and turns but despite appearances things are looking a little brighter we have some positive cards in some key areas that may cause some of the power structure that we've been seeing maybe in the political realm the entrenched authority kind of shifting around and changing and perhaps breaking apart. And it's going to cause, I want to say it's going to cause like a vacuum in the power structure for a short time. And we're going to see a shift and a needing to let go and to move on to brighter pastures. Things are going to get better, but sometimes we have to go through uh, challenges, sometimes in order to start over, you kind of have to scrap what you've been doing, redo it, and then make room for the new. This is about cleaning and clearing out and making room for the new that's coming in. So as we let go, let's embrace what is coming in terms of being positive for a vision of a brighter future joy and celebration and diligence hard work that's paying off okay so this to me feels really positive for the week in spite of the tower card there's good things coming with it okay that's what i have for this week oh and remember this card too getting the upper hand all right everyone that's what i have for this week thanks for joining me We'll see what this week holds in store. I hope you have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.